Yeah, literally, literally, yeah, literally a perfect game. Okay, let's play G6. Actually, I'm feeling low. I should be drinking my coffee, not my smoothie. Okay, let's go B5. It should be seven classic stuff. D6, Knight D7, of course. We're playing Timothy Geithner. Or, sorry, Tim Timothy Grutter. Sorry, Ge Geithner was... He was a treasury... Was he secretary of the treasurer or something? I don't know, something like that. But um, anyway, let's go C5. Um, now, I can obviously trade. I think I'm just going to play Rook C8 here and take. It's going to be a very interesting title Tuesday. It's pretty stack field, that's for sure. You've got... Um, Magnus, myself, Naroditsky, Farouche, everyone is back in town to play in Title Tuesday. Very good sign, by the way, in general. Like, even if it makes it much more competitive, I'm very happy to see that um, the remarks from a certain player have not scared everybody away, and everybody's here to have a good time and play Title Tuesday. So it's very, very good to see. Really, really nice. Um, why did I go Rook C8, by the way? I'm kind of wondering why I did that. Hmm. Yeah, why did I do that? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm not enthused. I wanted to play knight f6, but there was always this e5 problem that I had to deal with, with the diagonals and the pawn. So that's why I put the queen here first. Uh, I can take with the pawn. It's actually kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to take with the pawn. I don't know if it's good, but I kind of like it a little bit more to keep the scope alive. Um, if knight d5, I can just trade and then go knight f6. So I don't know, but it looks good. Thank you Stompy for the 34, Caspina for the 44, and Spaniel guy for the 15. Let's just develop the knight. And this is the point. Now there's no e5, and so I can finish my development with castles next turn. And I think I should be okay now. I, I wouldn't say I'm better necessarily, but I think if I get castled and I don't have any issues, I'll, uh, the game's going to turn very quickly. Really fish about four. Another move that I'm not particularly fond of. I just play e5 here. Goes there. Just castles takes, of course. Position looks completely good for me. Quite reasonable, I would say. Um... Now, it goes knight d5 here, which I saw. Um, the big question is, how do I want to take? Now, my gut is to take with a knight, but I think I take with a bishop, because here, if I took with a knight, I have a bishop behind a walled pawn. Now, of course, I don't have this bishop. Like, if we go back here, if I were to take with a knight, I have this bishop walled in by the pawn, so I have no scope. But now I get rid of the bad bishop, I blockade the pawn. c4, e4, knight b6, incoming, a lot of options. I think I'm actually better here, probably. Maybe better, maybe, is too much. But I think I should be fine. Um... Now, the big key here is, do I want to play b4? I think I'm going to go b4 here, try to force him to move the knight to e4 or trade. Woo, woo, woo. Knight b6 and b4 is also playable, but I like, C I like b4 here. Good music to start. I think he's sleeping Cobra for the 45 and N3 P2M for the 19. Okay, I don't really understand knight e2 at all. Seems kind of weird, because now he's just got weaknesses. Like, this knight is just completely out of play. Completely out of the game. And for what, exactly? Um, now, this is an interesting spot. Because if he had taken right away, I took with a c-pawn. Now, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with c before just to create more of an imbalance here. Like, b3 and a4. And I feel like I'm starting to push the p on the uh, queen side. I have knight b6, knight c4. I think this Bastion is a very, very serious threat. Here, knight c4 and a3 is very, very dangerous. Ah, he's trying to he's trying to force his knight in. So let's go knight here. Ah, he found it. He found it. Actually, he found a very good idea that I kind of overlooked a little bit. Um. Yeah, I missed this. I think I'll just go here and maybe queen c5 though. Not super enthused by the position, but I think it's okay. Okay, one. Okay, that's probably... Okay, I'll go here to guard the pawn. I know I've messed this up for sure, but I, I think he's too low on time to... I go... Okay, now I go E4 and I take. There's also a big, big threat with E3 as well here. Also, Rook C5. I mean, now I think it's kind of going very much in the wrong direction for my opponent. E3 is probably playable. I don't know if it's good. I guess it's better to be safe than sorry. So let's play Rook C5. 
take here. If rook d1, I have queen e5. He's also too low. Yeah, I'm just going to win the game now. So this take of c4, I have rook d2. Queen d5 is maybe a little bit better, but... Actually, c4, even just rook c5 is good enough here. Okay, rook d1, logical. Um, d8 should be fine. The two pawns should be winning this. The structure should be winning the game for me. He's way too slow. What's going on? Rook a2 here. Yeah, I know I win the game. Oops, GG. There we go. We get the win in round one. Let's keep moving on. Magnus gets his win pretty quickly. Thank you so much. So, Wicked Wombat for the five minute Ant Jew for the prime. Thank you so much. Daniel is still playing as Vitor. Bronson Daniel wins one out of one. So, okay, everybody's off to a pretty standard start. Ferruja is not winning, but he'll win this game eventually with some e4 break and some kind of attack on the g file. I think a huh what for the 16 months. I think so much to huh what. Probably g4 so that you can go e4 d3. Yeah, g4 takes takes king g2. In. Okay, interesting. Wait, there's takes an f4 and rookie six. But I guess f4 you just go back. White way too slow here, by the way. Okay, now G4 is just screaming to be played. I'd be shocked if Ali Reza doesn't play G4 here. I mean, it's pretty obvious to me. G4, yeah, takes, takes, and F4, F3, or E4, T3. He's breaking through. Why can't I play like this? I need Bob, Bob Ross kecked, uh, or Bob Ross wrecked for the prime. thing. Trump 2024 for the two months. Appreciate it. Um, strange choice. I would have taken first, but... F4, of course. Rook F2, F3. Rook C2, maybe. I mean, black is... I mean, all the rest is going to win this because the pawn just isn't isn't this strong enough. But, I don't know. If you were playing Nepo or someone, I don't think you would have won this game. I am overperforming the word interesting. Oh, thank you. Rook H7, take. And the Rook's in jail here. It's just locked completely in this, this right triangle. Yeah, it's work on G2. Very, 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 very uh, sad. Work H2 and just, yeah. Cactus Marlson. I am currently in Florida, you guys. As I said, my computer just decided to die this morning. I don't I don't really know what's going on with it. I mean, maybe it was related to Windows updates that, for, that turned it off and then, like, it just didn't reboot. But, um, yeah, kind of an unpleasant situation. Why is this going to be slanted? It's always like this. This, this. this is my regular overlay. Do you guys never notice it? Or is it just because the board is too... Uh, the board's not big enough. No, I mean, it's it's always like this. I mean, maybe it's the angle that I'm sitting at here versus... No, what I meant by Windows is that I think there was a Windows update last night. That might have that might have turned my computer off. Because I never turned my computer off. In the morning, basically, it was just like, yeah, it just wasn't booting. Okay. Wait, Jose's losing? Wait. Wait, Jose lost? To 2497NM. Ouch. I uh, think there's a Kossetson for the Prime and Aki for the Prime as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. Am I pumped for Canada? I'm looking forward to it. Camera looks way better. The camera that I that I have here is actually a lot cheaper. So I'm beginning to wonder if um I'm beginning to wonder what's going on. <gasps> Duda is losing. Oh no, Duda also losing in round one to a 2400. Oh no. Thank you so much to Neon Argon for the 34 month resub. Uh oh. Uh oh. Duda is losing too. Maybe it's just the color setting on the more expensive camera. Could be. I don't know. Also, the walls are much like... It's much more like faded color. It's not like a sharp orange the same way. Uh, it's about lighting. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bishop e4 played. Okay, this should be a draw. Probably rook a5. King e8. Check. Rook a6. Yeah, it's still a draw. What? What?
What was that? Um, I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused by that. Um, confused by that game. I don't know how you do that. Let's play Knight 3. Thank you, NW Comer, for the Prime. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep playing Knight 3 G3. I mean, I played it earlier. It worked, so let's keep. Let's follow the basics. Let's play a King's Indian attack. I'm going to go H4, H5. I always feel like against lower rated players, it's a very good opening to play. It goes, what's his idea? Is the idea f5? Yay! But I can take and take. Strange choice. Um, yeah, Queen e8 is a very weird. It's not a move I'm familiar with in this position. Maybe it's playable, but I'm not familiar. Thank you, ASJ, for the 15 months. Thank you, John. Uh, all of Arrow for the four month resub. Thank you so much to Neon Argon for the gifted sub as well. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so you're saying, what am I up to? We're playing in Tilted Tuesday right now, the very, very much the premier event that's held on chess.com. Um, okay, so what's his idea? He's desperate to play F6. So the thing is, how do I stop it, Ash? It's funny. I don't have a good way to stop it. So I'm going to go here and maybe I'm going to play F4. This is, I'm not familiar with Queen E8. Queen e8 is not a move that I know. Queen e8 is a, that this is a new move to me. Queen e8, huh? I guess you learn something new every day, eh? Um, okay, I guess I'll go here and probably g4. Okay, let's just trade with g4. I'm gonna start getting very, very aggressive here on the uh, on the king side. Let's take knight g3 incoming. Weakness on e6. Maybe I can even go rook g2. Maybe I can put these knights in here. If I can bring the bishop and the rook into the game, like I bring the boys to the party, I should be winning. Go here and rook g2, of course, next move. I don't like rook a6 at all. I don't think it really does anything. And I have a feeling a big attack is brewing here on the uh, king side. Let's go here. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. So it's not as I thought I had a big attack, but now the more I look at this, the more I'm unconvinced. Let's go here and hit the pawn on d4. No, I've misplayed this, of course. Uh, I gotta take. This is not what I wanted to do. Let's go here. Uh. Actually, I just realized he could have played knight takes e5 and queen f1. I was probably getting cooked like a goose, but he missed it. So now the regards, so he can't take on e5. Let's bishop c5. I mean, I really have to be very precise here, though. Like, I guess I go. What do I do? Knight e. Hmm. I think I go here to guard the pawn. It's a very dangerous position. Very, very dangerous position. I should be okay though, I think. Goes back to E7, which looks kind of insane. Why did he do, that's just a bad, bad decision. Thing is, I'm still not necessarily better here in spite of his poor move. Cause he is, wait, what? Go here, I still guard, I go here. What? Wait a second, wait a second. This is nonsense. Um, let's just go here. As long as I can use these knights, I should be winning the game. Yeah, it's total nonsense. What's wrong with this guy? I have rook f1, which looks very good. Um, I gotta be a little bit careful how I do this. Queen d5, knight c3 looks, eh, maybe not. Knight f5, take six, knight h4. Still should be good. I mean, knight e4 is obviously good, too. I think I'm just going to trust my instinct and play rook f1 here with knight f5. Or did I just... Oh, my God. Did I just blunder? <sighs> what did I just do? I just blundered. I missed rook c4 completely. It was great. Unbelievable.
I mean, I'm still probably okay here, but... I should have just gone knight c3, knight e4. What was I even thinking? Just queen d5, which looks... Strange. Um, I go rook f3. Rook f3, knight f3, queen f3. Still very tricky. I should take. Alright. Queen e6, at least. That's my assumption. Check. Hit the king, hit the bishop. I'd be very careful how I do this, though. I think I'm winning, but I've, I've really made this tricky. Should be winning, though. King F8, and I have... I guess I have to... Eh, I don't really want to play this, but it's good enough. If I force the endgame with 15 seconds, I should be able to outskill him. Like, it, it feels like there are too many threats. Yeah, I should outskill him here and win the game. Good check. Check, and, and now it's just, yeah, now the rush should be very basic. Just, it's a cleanup job. Um, let's go here. Go here, of course. B4 launch. Well, I could play rook g6. Okay, all roads lead to Rome here, so the question is what's the cleanest way to win? I think rook c2 is cleanest. Just want to go rook c7. And now maybe king h2, king h3 even. Yeah, this is gg. There we go. Alright, two up, two down. All right, there we go. We got the win, two up, two down. Let's see who else is still playing. Hey, to Coach Casey for the 100 business. I get a wall of names for the seven and triple 19 for the 12 months. Okay, Buddy Pranav playing against Mikhail Golubev. Buddy Pranav is losing here, by the way. Wait, Rook H7, King F8. Check. Rook E1. Queen F7. Queen F7. Yeah. Check. Move. Takes. Rook G1. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so Buddy's going to lose in round number two as well. Um, just A6, of course. Yay! Hey, Chess Zombie for the 27 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chess Zombie. So. A lot of upsets early. Dania's still playing. Uh, or no, Dania's done. Dania... Did he win? I don't see Dania on, on the twos. He must have won, right? Wait, I don't see Dania. Probably I'm blind. But I assume he won, although I don't see his name. Maybe I'm just blind. But yeah. Thank you so much to Tenica Lespritz for the tier one. Thank you, Tenica Lespritz. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. He won? Okay, yeah. I mean, it's so early that the tie breaks are all over the place. And... I can't scroll through everybody who's on who's on one out of one. Okay. Still a few games going. Let's see. Oparn's still playing. Oparn is queening a pawn. He's going to win the game. Leaderboard? Yeah, I mean, I, it's just there are too many people. So if I don't see it right off, it's going to get lost in the muck. Oh, no, that's... Wait, I thought that was Nerodisky. That was Darda. Time to get a new PC and get rid of those BenQ monitors. I love those BenQ monitors, you guys. I love those monitors. There's no way I'm getting rid of them. I'm sorry, you guys. I know, like, I know you want me to, but I'm not going to. Yeah. So, all right. I did order a backup uh, desktop though, just to be safe. Like, I'll, I'll get, I'll get the computer. I'll figure out what the problem is and fix it. So obviously, it's got a forty ninety. So like, I'd be insane to like not use it. But, um, but yeah, I bought a backup just, just to be safe. Magnus Drew. Um, Daniel was dead. Lost one. Okay, Magnus Carlson Drew's game. Wow. Okay. I think it was S.E. Kakashi for the Prime. Thank you so much to S.E. Kakashi. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the Prime. Okay, two out of two. A lot of the... I also noticed Arjun playing too, so a lot. 40-90 for chess. Exactly, obviously. Only the best. Yeah, only the best. Okay. Oh, he didn't draw. He's on... Okay. This is what? This is... 
This end game is winning for white. I think I had this end game in the French. I had something very similar just in the French team championship many years ago. This is, I think this is winning with correct play. There, there's like, I think there's a Zugzwang here, right? There's a, there's a, there's a Zugzwang here with queen d7, right? Yeah. Rook h6. No, but then you check, you check, 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 the, you check, check, check and win. Okay. Round three, playing against Krikor, a Mekatarian from Brazil. Let's play g6. Let's go here. e4. What do I want to play? It's been a while since... I mean, normally I play Krikor without increment. When I play Krikor without increment, it's much easier to beat him. He's actually a very solid player. I'm going to go e5 here and take. Actually, no. Let's play d6, play an end game. Here's a good song. Hmm. God is watching me. Good song. Um, I can play knight six or knight seven. I think I'm gonna go knight six. Bishop g four also is a move too. He's thinking so long that I think he wants to take. I've got to keep this in mind because this Krikor is a guy who loves to play very, uh, very boring kind of dry positions i think at least that's my perception let's go here of course somebody's watching me feel like somebody's watching me i'm gonna go here on bishop e6 i guess maybe bishop g4 also i also have bishop h6 maybe as well depending should have gone Bishop H6 right away, but let's go here, I guess. I think, I mean, I think King C was bad. I should just play Bishop H6 right away. It goes there. I need to be careful. I think Knight D8 is fine because I have C6 here. Have to be careful how I do this, though. It's a little bit dangerous. There's still Bishop H6. I have C6 also. I mean, C6 is the move here my gut instinct is to play bishop h6 i don't know why it just feels right Let's see if it is i just feel like this dark for bishop is a real problem for me and now now i can always go c6 if i want to i kind of want to delay it but i i guess i guess i should just do it at some point Let's go here I could play bishop c4 maybe. It looks kind of wonky. Um, looks really wonky to go bishop c4 and knight e6, but it might actually be good. But I, I don't trust him now, so I'm just gonna play rook e8, rook e7. Let's go here. Feel like somebody's watching me. Always feel like. God is watching me. I don't like my position in this game at all. I should have gone for this 96 earlier. Yeah, I've missed I've actually really misplayed this. I think I've gotta go here. Okay, if I go 96. Uh, I don't like the way I've played this at all. I could go B6. This is risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. My knights are not very good here. And this knight d5 threat, like knight d6, knight d5, take stake specifically, is extremely dangerous. Okay, a4 I don't like at all. Because now I can go knight e6 and knight c5. I, th I think this was a mistake by... Um, by Arjun. Or sorry, by Krikor. Um, and maybe a mistake is too strong, but I don't think it's best. Because now he's letting me consolidate. Like, I can even play f5 here. Like, f5, f4. Maybe rook e8. How do I activate the knights is the problem. I don't want to go h... Mm, I don't want to... Yeah, I got to come with a move. I'm, I'm actually one down on clock here. 
I guess I'll go here and maybe just King B7. I'm too slow. I'm, I need to start pressing three core on time. Let's go here. Rook D7, I just block, of course. I mean, I've got F5 here. I mean, Knight H6, Knight G4 looming. The good news is Knight can't really move because so any yield to D4 square. If he goes there, okay, I'm going to go F5 here. I'm going to start getting aggressive. Have to be insane not to. Um, let's just play H5. I need to start pressing Crick on the clock here. It's getting low on time. King C4. Go here, Knight D6. Big threat. Okay. How do I do this? Somehow I need to activate the knight. F4 is always... Eh, I'm, it's not a move I want to play, but I'll play it anyway. It goes B5. I mean, I can obviously trade. Wait, now I've... Wait, maybe I can go... Wait a second. Knight D6. Now let's go here. I mean, I'm trying to get really sneaky with some, like, knight c5 idea. It's getting a little bit tricky suddenly. Craig are kind of low on time, too. Yeah, this is a very tricky position now. Wait, there's 93. Oh, wait, no. How do I do this? I thought I had a shot to win. It's knight a4, maybe? Yeah, I think I go for this. I mean, I think I'm better. I don't know if I'm winning. He's low on time, though. He's very low on time, actually. Let's go here. How do I do this? Go here, I guess? This should be winning. Yeah, I can take and go knight of three and I win the game. And now he's, I think Zook's bonged almost. Why am I so slow suddenly? Here, I guess. Wait, what did I just do? How do I mess this up? tricked him oh my gosh <sighs> insane <Wow. sighs> 
insane. How that was like. King of, wait, this was winning how? 90, wait, 94, 92. King Oh, I need, okay, yeah, I mean, I ended up in like a ridiculous night end game, yeah, whatever. Yeah, crazy stuff. All right, we got the win. That's the second game today that I've had where, um, yeah, it's the second, ga the second game today that I've had that's an actual, very, very interesting end game. I had one against David Navarro, which is a king and pawn end game, and now I had this night end game against Creek, where both games are actually, um, both games are actually like very, very interesting uh, technical end games. Very interesting, yeah. No, it's fun when you get end games like that. So basically, I have to go knight e4. So whenever he moves the knight to f4, I have king up. I have king up one with knight f2, mate. That's how I have to do it. Wild stuff. Let's go g3. Think of doobie for the 11. Think of Tate mu for the prime. This is a dude who plays. Um, he played some weird line. I actually played this against him. I think in a CCT event, maybe. Yeah, I played this against. Um, Frederick in, I think, one of the chess champion tour events, and I didn't play it particularly well. Yeah, I expected that. I'm going to play the traditional line, because I remember I did this early H5, and I got into a lot of trouble against him. I don't remember how it went exactly, but I remember one of the CCT events against Frederick, I think it was. I had some some, some game after a bad loss. I forget who it was against, um, and I was able to win, win the game, but I was in a lot of trouble. Thank you to Cagiano for the Tier 1. Okay, queen e7. I mean, okay, knight e3 looks pretty obvious. I mean, h5 was also obviously there. Knight d can I take? Or do I trade? Oh, wait a second. Do I trade first and then play knight d5? Take, takes e6, bishop d6. So it's not obvious. It's really not obvious. Which one's best? I, mm, I don't know. I'm just going to go for this one. I mean, there is knight f3. I, I really don't know if I should be trading first or playing. I go here, of course. I'm just assuming that takes is advantageous because I don't open the file, but really just pure intu intuitive feel. No particular reason I didn't just trade. Let's see what good old Frederick does here. Actually, maybe it's quite good though. Cause the more I look at this, the more I think, you know what? I can always take and take d5. And if I had traded, he could probably go queen six. But here, queen c six takes, and I think he's actually losing the game almost. So let's see what Frederick does. <sighs> Frederick recently drew a game against, I think it was Parham, right? Parham Maxudalu in the. Bundesliga, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Wait, I thought this was just bad. Wait a second. Of course, I, I mean, trading is the same thing. Okay, so I'll just take. Takes with the queen. This doesn't look right, but... Got 90... Let's go here to hit the queen. This Wait, isn't this just GG? Oh, he's got... Oh, he... Wait, but I've got knight c6, and... Do I take, or do I take? Also a big question here. Um... Bishop d5 makes a lot of sense. Of course, I should have taken the bishop first. I'm very lucky he doesn't have bishop h4. And I'm very lucky. That was very... I should have just traded first. Why didn't I just trade? Bishop h4 almost works, but I just taken. I have knight e5, and I'm winning. I Actually, wait. Am I winning? Maybe I'm not. Takes knight... Wait. Takes, 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 knight e5. You can just move the queen because the rook takes up four. Anyway, whatever. Let's focus on the game. Okay, it goes there. Um, okay, what's the way to win this game? Still not easy to win this, by the way. Still very tricky. Um, I can trade and take and go queen g4. It probably is the right way to play this, but it's also very scary giving him this open diagonal. Yay! Queen f3 also made him move. Um, queen f3. 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 
queen f3, and then queen f3. Knight f4, knight f3, queen f3, bishop h4, da, 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 da. that's good. Da, 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 da. Trust your instincts, trust your instincts, and just move. Thought I had knight e7 here, maybe. Oh, I've also got bishop, wait, I've also got bishop e5. Yeah, I kind of like my position a little bit here. I don't know if I'm playing this correctly, but I f it feels fairly decent. Oh, I'm an idiot. Actually, I think I should have gone rook b1. Oh, I think bishop b5 was unnecessary. I think rook b1 was extremely strong. Maybe not. Mm. Still, okay, I still should be better, though. Play rook takes bishop on e5 here. Thanks so much to Nosebly for the 18th day, Leon HD for the two months, and Chiz for the four, Froya Chess for the tier one, and Skilo for the prime, and Rahim for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Um, the question was, do you think your brother could beat Bornick? No. Wait, what? Ah, he just wants to play this one. Okay, but if I go rook a e1, nah, this is bad. What is Frederick doing? I mean, I have bishop d5, and look at the double stack with the diag. This is kind of a disaster. Yeah, Frederick's misplayed this, and his sad horse has, like, no squares. Like, I just go here, and look at the, the knight is very sad. It's got no jumpers. I'm just going to put the bishop on c4, and this is going to be very, very unpleasant to play. Bishop d5 is actually maybe even better, but whatever. Let's go here. Bishop 7 Okay, now it's just a matter of technique. Let's go here. Massage the king's side. He plays h6. Maybe I just go for the triple stack. Why not? Hit the pawn. Yeah, this is very, very unpleasant for black. Probably just lost, in fact. Knight a8, okay. Um, there's always rookie eight here. I kind of want to win this like very in a very technically sound way, so. I guess, I mean, I can trade the rooks. Let's just trade the rooks and take the pawn. Up two pawns, bad king side structure. Queen e7 is good enough. So why did I do this? It's still good enough, but. C3, bishop g6, knight d5. Oh, that should be good enough. Rookie four works, but I mean, I think this is simpler. Let's go here. Ah, bishop e6 was best, I think, actually. Let's go. Did I misplay this somehow? Maybe I just go check in d4 here. Just have rook d7 and... Nothing he can really do, I think. Rook d7 is big threat. Yeah, he's too low on time. Resigns. Okay, we got the win. Four out of four. Big, big win. Pretty good game, I think. Was rook b1 better? A couple questions. First of all, was rook b1 right? No, bishop e5. Rook b1 is okay, but bishop e5 is better. Okay, that's first one. Second one... Bishop h4 doesn't work, so I'm just smoking something. Oh, I just, oh, I just take and go check and take. Okay, so, yeah. Bishop e5 is good. I, I wasn't sure it was the best. I don't know if Magnus is streaming or not. I assume he won. Um, where, or, where, oh no, Magnus is still playing. Let's see, Magnus is playing as Angry Twin. I believe this is, um, that was a mistake apparently. No, it's still bad for, bad for white. They need a dub nation for the 30 month reset. Thank you so much, dub nation. Wasn't queen c5? Oh no, there's bishop e3. Queen e5, king h7. I mean, a3 or queen... I mean, a3's got to be winning somewhere. Yeah, just a3, a2, start pushing the p. Or this. This also works. Wait, but bishop d4? Wait! Oh no, it's check, it's check, it's check. Never mind. So Magnus gets the win. Uh, four out of four. Some great players. Who's on four points? A lot, lot of big dogs on four points. Nep Nepomnishi is on four. Jeffrey Zhang, Sergei Zhigalko, Bortnik, Arian Tari, Daniel Naroditsky, Magnus Carlson, Benjamin Bach, Hikaru, Arjun. A lot of strong players on four out of four. So, all right. That means we're going to be on our first break in a second. We have a six-minute break in between the rounds. Actually, Gucci Reza is apparently not winning after Rook G5, which, wow, he finds it. Rook D5? Time. Nope. 
Too, too weak, too slow, as Magnus would say. Too weak, too slow. Um, too weak, too slow by Shugarov. So, let's see. Still a few games going. Um, okay, this game will be a draw. Okay, I was, I was about to say, these guys... <laughs> I, I was like, are these guys going to actually play this out? Okay, uh, thank you to Malson Ruse for the Prime. They had German Kingslayer for the Tier 1. Um, okay, exciting. I'm ready for something exciting, and yeah, we got, the, we got another one of the El Clasicos. Nice shirt, thank you. Appreciate you guys, thank you. Okay, so the game ends in a draw, so that should be the last game. Or no, we still have one left. Eli Schneider, no, I think that's it, right? Let's check, is that it? That's it. So we're on the first break, you guys. Six minute break. Um, and I'll be right back in one second. Just gonna go use the restroom quickly. <sighs> this term is so strong. That I'm trying to figure out do I go for broker or am I happy with like a draw? I didn't get a blue screen. I just the screen stayed black. It just the screen stayed black. Okay, let's play the uh, accelerated dragon, why not? So what I played against. Uh, Asapenko, right? Knight c6 and, like, Bishop g4. I mean, Bishop g4 is playable. Bishop g7 and f6 is what I did, I think, last time. So, let's just play e6 here. So, I'll trade. Play, like, Bishop h6, maybe. I'm going to do this. This is probably not correct, by the way, but I just don't care enough. Um... I'm happy to just play the position, just play chess, basically. He goes g4. I mean, I could play queen a5 to force an endgame. I think I will check. I mean, he can go... Okay, he plays queen, so I'll just trade. Actually, why did I do this? This is going to be a draw for sure now. Maybe not. I mean, maybe I can use these knights. Maybe, but... Pretty skeptical. It was rook c1. Um, I mean, I can play... Actually, should I play f6? It's an interesting question here. I can play f6. Somehow it feels a little bit too loose to me. I don't quite trust it, so... I mean... Maybe just king d7. I mean, I can always play... I think I'm going to play h6 here just to stop knight g5. I mean, it's going to be very hard to win this position, is what I would say. Very hard to win. I mean, probably it's going to be a draw, but... It goes knight e1, which actually makes a lot of... Although, I've got g5, I want to be cheeky. I mean, g5 is fairly bold. Um, rook c1, rook c8, I don't really love it. I don't really like b6. I don't really like much of anything here. I'm just going to go b6. He goes b4, which I think I'm actually happy to see him play. Um, or am I? Maybe I'm not. I assumed I was happy to see this move. Maybe I'm not. If I go g4. Ah, uh, but now I can play... Hmm. g5, h4, h5 move. Uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to play G5. I don't know if this is the right move, but I'm going to go for it. It's risky. This is risky. I'm trying to play something very aggressive here rather than just stabilize. It goes Bishop D3. Okay, but now... I think I'm going to go B... No, B5 is a bad... Why did I play B5? That's just a bad move. That's just a terrible move by me. Why did I play that? I mean, maybe it's not... Maybe it's not so bad if I can get two moves in, but... I don't know. We'll see. Wait, but that's... Some, wait. No, no, no. Actually, Jeffrey just made a big mistake. Maybe a big mistake is the wrong way of putting it, but now it's like... It's not simple. I've got knight c4 here. Wait, what's going on? I take... Ah, oh, I missed knight g Ah, oh, I missed knight g7. That's a very good move. Uh-oh. Okay, I think I gotta go all in now. 
Do I go rookie H seed or do I, I think I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna go all in here. Maybe I even take with the pawn. Probably I should take and play like this though. No, this isn't working. So let's just go for it. B3, I guess, and C3, C2. C3, D6, King, D8, E6. Do I have a move? Rook B8 is also playable. I think I go here. Okay, of course I have to take. Have to go B2. This is really messy. I don't know what's going on here, actually. Do they have rook D1 or rook D8 or something? This is exactly the kind of game that I really did not want to play and I end up in it anyway. Because I'm either going to win the game or I'm going to lose the game. There's no in between here. I can go rook A. Wait. I mean, this is very, very tricky. I don't know what's going on here at all. I think I'm actually... Oh, maybe I'm winning. Maybe I've got rook a8 takes and rook a1. Maybe. Maybe I'm winning. I might be winning here. He has bishop e4, which is a good move. Um, I could take and go b3, maybe, then bishop c6. Play rook e8. There's also king e3. Play rook a3. I'm gonna go here. I have no, uh, I've got no way to win. Is this a draw? Wait, do I check or do I take first? I assume I take first and go check. Wait, um, nah, it's just a draw. Yeah, it's just a draw. Good game, though. This is a pretty good game. This is a pretty good game. I don't know if I was winning or not. This was a pretty, pretty good one, though. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I think I was probably, I was definitely losing, but was I ever winning? Oh, I should have taken with a B pawn. Oh, king d7. Why didn't I just go king d... Oh, I suck at chess. King d... Ah, king d7. What am I doing? Ah, uh, that's, that's ridiculous. Wow, computer says this is still zeros. <laughs> I love chess. Zeros. Zeros. This is literally just a draw? Wow. It's just, wow, zero, zero is the whole way. So I missed king d7, and after that, it was just a dead draw. Yeah, literally, literally, yeah, literally a perfect game. Oh, king d7, I should have played king d7. I think I just didn't see it. Yeah, why did I go king d7, of course. Why didn't I go? It was bad. Very bad. Whatever. It's a draw. That's what it is. Run Windows on a Mac. Mocked. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's fine. What am I doing? It's fine. Okay. Again. 
This event is strong. Jeez, I draw and I get Mechanic. It's crazy. The pairings. What did I do? I, I actually I blame myself. I, I blame myself. Um, I really do blame myself for making Title Tuesday too strong. If I hadn't like won so many times and made it a household event, all these people wouldn't be playing. So I blame. I, I really have nobody to blame but myself for these bad pairings. Because now everybody plays. Uh, plays. I played C3 earlier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I, it's, it's my fault. I, I played it too many times. I won. I made it too popular. And now everyone and their brother plays. Very, very, very annoying. Um, let's go rookie one. It's all my fault. Blame Hikaru, as they say. C5. Could take and play knight B3. I think I'll do this. This is actually kind of strange. It's kind of weird. I'm looking at this position. Like, I think I'll go here and hit the knight. Maybe bishop D4. This is getting weirder by the second. Uh, I think I'll go here to try and trade and open up the scopes. Maybe Bishop D4 is a little bit better. Maybe Bishop D4 is a touch better, but whatever. Whoa, whoa. We need a Bonnie Seth for the 35, Econ Greg for the 3, and WV for the 31 months. I think I'm doing well here. Oh, Bishop F5, interesting. That's not the way I was expecting. Um, so, okay, I have multiple captures with these knights. I can trade and go knight B3, which I think is a transmission that takes, takes. Bishop D4, E5 doesn't look right. Or Bishop D4, E5 takes, takes, E4 is interesting. Okay. Knight D4, Bishop D7. Bishop D4, though, leads to a very flat position. Takes, takes. I think I'm going to take and go bishop d4. It's probably not best, but I don't really know what else to do. I mean, actually, maybe I could have taken... Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have taken and played e... But he keeps the two bishops. And he keeps the two bishops. I don't know if that's actually good. Now, again, he gives me an option to trade. Um, but I don't really like... Now, I definitely shouldn't do it. Um... Knight f1, knight e3 is kind of interesting. Takes is also playable. Knight b3, of course, also playable. I think I'll just go knight b3. Let's see what he does. I kind of like my position a little bit. A little bit being the keyword. It's not, like, wonderful or anything, but I kind of like it. I should have probably traded first. Yeah, I definitely should have traded the bishops and then played knight b3, but, okay, whatever. It's life. I also still could have taken on... I still could have taken on c5 and played e4. I, I Actually, after the game, I want to see if that was right. So my instinct is that I probably should have gone for that. The problem now is if I take with the pawn, e5, bishop b3, rook d8, I'm not doing great. Bishop g7 is a move. I don't like it. I think I'll just take. Yeah, the problem is, though, now he gets a trade and it becomes very flat. Still maybe marginally better, but it's going to be very hard to win this. Hmm. Yeah, he goes e6. I mean... The rook ac1 looks pretty obvious. It feels like a kind of position that Kramnik would actually like here. Like, somehow I need to trap the bishop. Maybe like f3, e4 somewhere. Or f3, g4 maybe. Okay, it goes a4, which... I thought I was happy to see initially, because I, I assume I'm sacking. I'm honestly not sure if I should, but I assume I should. Okay, so this is a big moment. Do I take or not? If I trade, trade, go a3, e5. I mean, the situation is very hard to judge here. Do I need to win this game or not? My gut instinct says that I should be, I shouldn't go for it. Even though in a classical game, I probably would. I don't think I should here. Let's go f3, idea to play e4 here. Free move rook c1, of course. It was e5. Um, I've got f4, and now 
The pawn on d5 is hanging. Whether it's like actually a weakness or not is a big question. It is hanging, but... Okay, wait. This is still very tricky. d5, rook d8, e4. Bishop e4 takes rook e4. Rook c1 takes, takes. C1, queen c1. Actually, rook c1, queen c1. Then rook c8. Hmm. I think this is correct. Wait. Oh no, did I just blunt? No, nah, I can go rook c4. This is tricky. One rook d8, queen c1, rook c8. No, I think I have to go for this. This is not what I want to do. Too slow, too slow. I got to pick up the pace. Way too slow. Way too slow, this game. Way too slow. I'm being very quiet because I'm trying to think about what I play on his next on the next turn. There. I know if King up one's right. I could have gone to G2 as well, but. Blockade. Oh, it's just a draw. It's just a draw. Oh my god, I missed that. What the heck? to draw <sighs> did I have anything or not no f4 is zero f4 is zero this is zeros <laughs> every game is zeros what's going on Okay, but takes... Okay, so Queen C8 was not right. Okay. Uh, what is this? Every game is zeros. Yay! Oh, Rook C1 was better? Okay. Oh. Uh. I think it was Snowy Castles for the seven months. Yeah. Chess played perfectly as a draw. Uh, okay, Cagnus won. Magnus won his game, so he's on six out of six. I'm on five, which is not bad. I think a Rusty boy thing with Galatine. It's okay as long as I start winning out and Magnus doesn't go perfect. Magnus was minus 12. Wait, Magnus was minus 12? He was losing or I don't know what you mean. Oh yeah, I was going to check a move in my game. That's right. I was going to check the um, whether I should have taken on C5 <laughs> and played E4. Uh, I thought maybe I should take... It says 0 0.04. Nah, it's nothing special. Still zeros, of course. Obviously, still zeros. This goes to show. So. All right, thank you so much to Miles Jar for the 30 months as well. Very, very tough event, though. So, I mean, I'm basically assuming that Magnus is not going to win every game. Nepo is losing. Um, yeah. Okay, Nepo loses. Tough loss for Jan. Yeah. I'm doing my best on each impersonation. What My score is okay as long as Magnus doesn't win every game. Because, like, this is such a strong field that you don't expect everybody to win out. Like, you just look at this field. Perugia on 5.5, Jeffrey on Drake and Borden and Chigalko, Magnus on 6. And then, like, Nihal, Arjun, myself, Naroditsky. So many of us right behind on 5 that I just don't expect that. Really don't expect. I, I mean, if Magnus just wins, we well, you know what to do. If Magnus Magnus overperforms, like what to do? Thank you, Lord per Periculum, for the seven months. Thanks so much, Lord Periculum. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very stacked field today. It's a very very tough field. Yeah. So, yeah. Still try your best to face him? Of course I will. I'm just, I'm assuming that with so many strong players, this is not going to be, um, this is not going to be an event where, uh, where someone goes perfect. 
Thank you so much to Cole Yanniker for six months. Who's preparing for the world RMV? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Have I seen videos and things? No, I'm not paying any attention to that nonsense at this point. Um, so, another... Jeez. What is going on? Every pairing is tough. It's kind of amazing how strong Title 2 has become. Like, I'm expecting I've drawn two games and I get an easy pairing. I don't. I get a bad pairing. Okay, how do I mess this up? I'm going to keep playing G6. So now, I mean... I, I really don't... I have a feeling Magus is not going to finish below 10. Let's go here. Yeah, just... just to, my, my feeling is that he's not going to finish below 10. So if I, if I perceive that Magus' winning score is 10 points, I need to win every game. So I'm going to try to play for more imbalance. I mean, I could draw and maybe try to angle for second place, just win, win a couple games at the end. I think he drinks for nine, but I really... It doesn't feel right to, to be passive here. Get C4. Okay, I can play Bishop G4. I can also play E6 here. What do I want to do? Um, Bishop G4... E6 is the obvious move to go into a class of Ben Oni. But it's a Ben Oni that I don't love. Uh, he's a good player, though. How far, how far can I push the margin? I don't... Tr mm. I don't know. I'm going to play E6. Yay! Actually, I should have just... Actually, no. I'm going to... I should have just... Why didn't I just go E5? Force him to take or not? What am I doing? I'm gonna go G4, so I think I should play F5 right away. I might get crushed in this game, but I'm gonna play very much on the edge because I, I feel like I, I don't know if Matt, I don't really expect the winning score to be below 10 because I expect Magnus to be bulldozing a few more people. So I feel like I gotta kind of play like this. Okay, so Dayak has decided he's gonna play a very um. He's going to play a very deep positional game. He's going to try to win on the board and use all his time rather than try to play practical moves in three to five seconds. So for that reason, I think I need to, I, I'm going to need to use my time. Because against a player as good as Dayak, he is capable of playing games with like two, three seconds on the clock and finding best moves. So I'm going to have to use my time here. I'm going to have to actually match him move for move and use a little bit of time. Unless they're obvious moves. Like he's using so much time here. See, he's using a lot of time. So I'm going to start thinking on his time as well. Goes G4. This is the move that I was actually worried he might play, but... And honestly, I have no idea what's going on here. I'm obviously going to take. i will play here. This is definitely dubious what I'm doing. Definitely dubious. But like I said, my, my whole logic behind this is that I think the winning score is not going to be less than 10. I'll pre this in case he takes. And I expected that. Of course, I should play knight f6 here. Obvious move. Take and take, maybe. I might still be moving a little bit too fast, but I think I need to try and press him on the clock a little bit here. Okay, so he does that. I mean, I kind of expected that. I mean, I don't have a move. I have to trade. This much is very clear. I could go knight c6 here. For some reason, I feel like the knight belongs on e5, not here. Just so I can pressure the bishop immediately. Both squares are playable. Which one's better? I honestly don't. Knight d7 guards a pawn? I'm gonna put the knight here. I, I don't I don't really have a good reason other than I feel like it belongs on C6 and not D7. I, I can't really explain why, but it just feels somehow I just have a feeling it belongs here, especially if I'm giving up a pawn. I'm gonna go like D6 to guard the chain and play like rook d8. Okay, I mean rook d8 is an obvious move. King up seven or rook d8, which one? I think rook d8 makes sense. King up seven next move. Castles is also maybe an option, but whatever. 
Yeah, this is very tricky to play for both sides. I mean, I have knight d4 somewhere. I want to play knight e7. Rook g8 is a move. Rook e7. I think I'll just go here. Very, very tough position to play for both of us. I'm way up on clock though, so. It was F3, I expected that. I mean, I, I can play Rook E8 maybe. No, I can't play Rook E8, it's no good. E3 is maybe a move also. Knight <sighs> D4 does nothing, E3 doesn't look right. Knight E7, no, that's wrong, Rook D8. I think I'll just play this. I think I have to trade. I can play rookie eight here. I can also trade. Here and take, I guess. Oh, I could have played 90. No, that doesn't work either. Probably this is also probably a draw. This is gonna be a draw. Or do I have 97? Four, you have three takes. I I gotta go for it, right? I gotta I gotta go for it. I mean, I've gotta go for it. I mean, if I don't go for it, what am I doing, really? Wait, but now I can go maybe here. Wait, he might have misplayed this way. Now D's knights are very active, actually. Is this actually a draw? Wait. can't win this should not I thought the end game was winning I should not have done that but it's zero is it's zero is anyway it's zero is oh my gosh like I, I I might give up I might give up every game is zero zeros like I didn't want to play this but even if I don't play it, Jeez, Magnus is losing to Ali Reza. Okay, let's let's. Oh wait, sorry, I didn't mean to close the game. 